people ask where you're from, and you say, oh, Brockleth. No one knows where Brockleth is, but everyone knows about cheese rolling. It's real good. It's part of Brockleth, like. Everyone that I know from Brockworth, who can get there, will be there. I've been up there watching since I was four, but then as you get older, obviously, you decide whether you're taking more part in it, more of an active role. So I stand at the top in a big hat and uh, tell people what they can and can't do at the top of the hill. I look forward to it. <laughs> it's a good, good day. Christopher Anderson, he's uh, well known to be the best cheese roller. <laughs> I think he's found his niche in life. He's incredibly, incredibly good at cheese rolling. I'm Chris Anderson and I've won the cheese roll in 20 times. If I win this year, then I'll have the, the highest record anyone's ever had. It's, it's a local thing and the villagers all like to have someone from the village win the event, so I'm just trying to keep it going for the village. It's a very steep hill. You stand at the top, you think about why on earth am I doing this? Then somebody counts. One to be ready. Two to be steady. Three for the cheese. Four to be off and you chase the cheese and you stand up and you fall. <laughs> and you get up and you fall. And you get up and you hope that someone isn't falling into you. And by the time you hit the bottom, you're just glad it's over. <laughs> it's a big thing, big bragging rights if you win it. I think I win it because uh, I get up and I run as fast as I can. Not a lot of people have the balls to run down. But you've got to have a sort of total disregard for yourself. The reason why people still do cheese rolls is identity. It's what Brockhoff is. It's part of Brockhoff. It's always going to be part of Brockhoff. It's like there's nowhere else in the world there's cheese rolling. But there's people from all over the world who come to watch cheese rolling. Cheese rolling is brilliant. 